What's up guys, it's your boy Tuskits here and today we are playing Car X Drift Racing Online. Now for about a week now you guys have been asking me for the Hachi Go Ultimate Drift setup. So I've been putting out a few other tunes but I had to check my comments this morning and I seen another request not just from one, two, but maybe even three or four people are requesting the Hachi Go so you guys know I had to deliver. So Let's go ahead and get into this video, man. The Hachi Go is a class one car, which you can find right here, and it should be really, really cheap for new players. Also, if you're level 11 and you're able to unlock the ultimate mod for your car, go ahead and get the ultimate mod on the vehicle. Without the ultimate mod, unfortunately, you won't be able to use this tune. Also, PC players, the tune download will be in the description. There's no livery for this car. It's just too clean to put a livery on it, in my opinion. At least I couldn't think of anything that I could put on it that would keep it looking clean. So I just went to the paint section, made the side skirts black, the trunk black, the hood black, and I just added like a little window sticker, just something subtle, you know, like nothing too crazy. I had to keep it clean and simple. Next thing I did after I bought the car, got the ultimate mod on the car is I got the RNC kit. I really like this kit. It looks a lot better than the other kits in my opinion. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys everything I have. I got the stock headlights. I got the RNC front bumper, the RNC hood, I have the RNC fenders, the missile side mirrors. Wait, what do the other fenders look like? Oh yeah, that's right, it just changes the front. Okay, yeah, missile side mirrors. For the doors, we've got the RNT doors, custom performance roll cage, CBW side skirt, custom trunk, custom performance trunk that is, RNT rear bumper, stock spoiler, stock tail lights, shark nose type V exhaust, Takata seats, Recar X steering wheel, Recar X handbrake, Recar X shifter. And I went ahead and threw on a pair of stock wheels because it's an old school car. So, you know, figured I'd throw some old school looking type wheels with some lug nut spikes just to add a little bit of a touch to the look. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think about the overall look of this car down below. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into the dyno stand and I'm going to show you guys the entire tune. Remember to drop a like, subscribe and turn on post post notifications excuse me for more great content now let's get into it man for the dyno stand your front spring length is going to be 11 rear is going to be 10 front spring stiffness 105 rear spring stiffness 95 your first three front dampers are going to be at 9,000. your first three rear dampers are going to be at 7,000. all right take a second to copy that pause it if you need to and we're going to go ahead and continue i'll give you guys a short second to copy this down all right and that short second is up um <laughs> cringe um front so for your fourth the damper is going to be eleven thousand. your fourth rear damper rebound is going to be nine thousand. so your fourth front 11k rear or god dang it rear is going to uh, okay you got you guys get the point you get the point front so negative 0 0.40 rear so 0 0.20 front camera negative 4.96 rear camera 0 0.45 Front and rear into your over at 15, caster at 7.5, Ackerman angle at 30%, max steering angle at 60 degrees. Yes, sir, indeed. If you guys feel like your car isn't getting wide enough, feel free to turn this up to an eight. I feel safe at a 7.5, so that's where I'm gonna keep it personally. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are gonna be 16. Your front and rear tire width are gonna be 225. Your front tire pressure is going to be 110. Your rear tire pressure is going to be 90. Your front and rear wheel adhesion are going to be 100. Front wheel track 5, rear base 5. Front and rear tire profile 35%. For the engine, go ahead and turn everything all the way up to max, unless you're scared of, you know, a lot of horsepower. Hopefully you're not scared of a lot of ponies, because there's a lot of ponies under this hood. There could be more, but 500 suits this car well, seeing as though it's not that heavy. And um, yeah, it doesn't really take a lot of power to move a light car. So yeah, it makes sense. Good power to weight ratio in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think about that down below in the comment section. For the transmission, your transmission type is gonna be sequential. Your diff lock ratio is gonna be 1.00. Final drive, 3.70. Gear one, 2.30. Gear two, 1.44. Gear three, 1.22. Gear four, 1.12. Gear five, 1.06. And gear six is gonna be 1.02. All right, give you guys a short, a short second just to copy all that down. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Sorry if I'm moving fast. 
for the brakes your brake torque is going to be 3500 from your by 70 percent abs no launch control tandems no all right well with that being said you guys got the tune now so now what do we do well a lot of people are probably going to click off at this point but if you'd like to stay i'm going to go ahead and jump into an online multiplayer lobby and see if this thing can hold it to the test of hitting tandems with other players so if you guys want to see if this is a good tandem car keep watching because I'm, I'm about to get into a lobby oh no i'm about to get into a lobby and test it out this is a night lobby which is why i said oh no i don't want to be in here i don't i'm not really a fan of the night mode it's a little glitchy a little laggy you know what i'm saying so let's see if we can find something a little bit more chill we got a red rock lobby no night mode collisions on let's get in here and see what we can do man here we go First things first, we gotta pull up to that young gas station. So let's make our way over there. We can throw a couple 360s. Okay, so the temperature for this map looks way too, oh my, hold on, wait, don't crash. Okay, the temperature for this map looks way too warm. So what I'm gonna do just to neutralize that out a little bit is kind of turn this down just a notch. And let's make the game, yeah, there we go. Let's make the game look a little bit better. There we go. Not so warm outside, you know. I know we're in the desert and all, but it doesn't have to look that orange or that red. It's a little OD if you ask me. Bars. All right. So like I said, we're pulling into the gas station. We're gonna see if we can hit some tandems with other players in our newly built hot you go. And it looks like the gas station is jam packed with a shit ton of people. So let's see what happens when I pull up. What's good, gang? Oh shit, my bad. What's good, gang? Anybody in here I know? We got Slushy, don't know him. Uh, TRK Devin, don't know him. Eric Spears, don't know him. Don't know any of these people. Well, I guess it's not gang, but we're gonna hit some tandems with the boys. So let's, let's do this, man, here we go. Looks like we're throwing some jump drifts, okay. And that guy is uh, possibly folding. I'm not sure if he's able to tandem. No offense to you. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and scooch on by, sir. All right, I'm gonna see if I can catch up to this tandem train up here and get some proper tandems in. So don't mind my lines right now. I'm taking race lines so I can catch up to this group of people up here. But once we're caught up, we should be good. The whole point of this test is to see if I can hit tandems. And right now it's not looking good. <laughs> I gotta catch up to somebody. Ooh, collision. Something just happened. Oh my God. <laughs> They're probably watching me right now like, Jesus Christ, is that really Ty Skids, bro? I'm trying to find somebody to tandem with. I couldn't keep up with them. They were gone. I need somebody to tandem with, man. Please save my video, somebody. Somebody save my tandem. Okay, maybe these nuts can um, put down a good lead line for us. <laughs> that sounds so funny, these nuts. All right, here we go. So, as you guys can see, we can indeed hit tandems, and this car is feasible when it comes to getting door-to-door -door in our car extra bracing. Now, that first little skit you guys saw there with me trying to keep up with those people and also avoid a guy that looked like he was a little inexperienced wasn't the best gameplay, I'll admit that. But now that we got a proper lead line going down, you guys can see that this car is actually really good at hitting tandems. So, I hope you guys use this car. Oh my Jesus, go! Oh, oh, I hope y'all use this car, <laughs> take it online, have some fun with it. Um, but with that being said, you know, I just want to say before we end up this video, let me know what other cars y'all want to see, man. I've been seeing a lot of different comments for cars. Now, if I don't get to your car exactly when you want me to, or if you feel like I'm ignoring your car that you requested, I promise you I'm not. I get a lot of tune requests, not just only through Discord, but Instagram, um, you know, uh, instagram and discord and things of that nature and even tiktok sometimes so you know i try to get as many cars as i can done in a fashionable order and time so if you guys could just be patient with me and keep leaving those comments down below i would greatly appreciate it and also with that being said there's not really too much else to say about this vehicle here i mean this guy is literally in a mustang but whole time we could literally just overtake them so i just let you know that this build is pretty quick you know what i'm saying um yeah not a bad build at all definitely not one of the fastest cars because it only has 500 horsepower and it looks like somebody's mad that i overtook them definitely not one of the fastest cars because it only has 500 horsepower but it definitely is pretty 
um, pretty good when it comes to the power to rate ratio. So it definitely does get a move on when it's tuned right. And I've definitely done that here. So with that being said, this has been your boy, Tyler Skids, playing Crash Racing Online. And today I showed you guys my Hashigo 100 Adhesion Ultimate Drift Setup. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next time. See you in the next time. No, I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey.